Hello, hello. So uh, I think the default sort of look of this Ubuntu is not really that nice. So I thought I would change the appearances a little bit here. And first thing I'm actually going to install is a uh, thing called Unity Tweak Tool. And it's in the uh, software, Ubuntu software here. And you search for it. Unity Tweak Tool, first one here. And just click install. And you need to type the password. And it's the same password as you log into the computer. There's an update as well. I install that later. Right, so it's installed. It's pretty quick. And a new icon should up here, Unity Tweak Tool. So, um, yeah, some stuff, some new stuff at least. And first thing I do is go to Launcher here. And what I do here is, this, uh, this is called the Launcher, with all the icons and stuff. And I find it annoying to have it on the left. So what I do here is, you see it's position left. I will actually have it at the bottom, like this. Much more nice. And what you can do is in the regular serum system settings, you can go to appearance here. And for example, if you don't want it so big, you can actually sort of make it a bit smaller or even larger. So uh, yeah, they can be quite big. That seems kind of good. And I go to behavior here. And as you can see, I am in the, uh, have a window here, but there are a bunch of menus up here to the, to the left, at the top. But I want to have those uh, stuff down here in the window. So that's why you change this in the window title bar. And also always displayed. That's what I do here. Oops, I should go back. Uh, what else do I do? Well, brightness and locks. I don't want the uh, monitor to shut down, so I actually go choose never here. And then I go back to all settings. What else can I change? Displays. If you have multiple displays, you should the launcher placement this is the launcher you know right now it's set to all displays but i only want it on one display the first one and then it press apply keep configuration uh, let's see keyboard and i will show you this later on you have, can have custom shortcuts as well And another thing which is kind of handy if you have like a graphics card uh, and you want the uh, drivers for it, you go to uh, first of all the uh, software and update and you go to additional drivers and it will search for the drivers. This might take a little while here. There you go. And I am on a virtual machine, so there's nothing much here, but for my NVIDIA GTX 660, I got like seven or eight options here. And I choose the top one, which says like, was it 361.42? 
driver version number select that and apply changes so that's kind of it and while we are here if you are going to install Skype through the terminal you need to actually activate this canonical partners otherwise it doesn't work and I just select that as well close and the reload the, the cash okay nothing else here well if you go to details here you can see the version you're running and the computer and stuff and if you install like VLC it's a video player you can go to uh, default application here and change to default video player to uh, v VLC it will show up here so yeah it's a bunch of stuff but anyway let's go to for example the um, wallpaper you can change that as well so let's go to just one drive here for example I already downloaded the wallpaper here so what you can do is that you right click on it and select set as wallpaper there you go and you can also for example if you don't like the white and stuff like this and the icons you can also change that but first I will actually add change the preferences of the files here what's called so let's go to list view and just sort by type behavior I don't want a do you want to throw this away from the trash can display nothing here so the next time I actually go in here it will be sort of files like this okay so let's say that I want some different uh, cursors I actually downloaded cursors for, from kind of Windows 8 stuff and this is a zipped file so what you do is just double click on it and here's a folder and you just drag it out here like that you got the folder and what you do is that you cut it out and then we actually go to the home here to the left and we're actually going to press ctrl H so that we show hidden folders and stuff and we're going to create a new folder in here so file new folder and we're going to name it dot icons no uh, no I think it should work here and if I paste it here like that and if I go into the uh, unity tweak tool and I select cursors they should open oh, should up show up here the win 8 so it's pretty easy like that and you can do basically the same thing with uh, themes so uh, you just add new folder and name it dot themes and then you just unzip it and place them over there it's pretty easy but I'm going to show you another way to install themes and it's actually through the terminal Oops. and it should actually be over here 
Terminal. Let's maximize this. And let's see. And I will place these commands in the video description. So let's see if I can get commands like. And what you can do is that you basically copy the commands from a video and then in the terminal you right click with your mouse and then you just paste it in. But it doesn't work here in the virtual machine at the moment. And let's see, because it's quite a long command. Um, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, let's actually go to my Dropbox. Let's see, we have Firefox. Let's see if I have the commands there. And I should go to Ubuntu. I should have prepared this, but I uh, forgot. Uh, documents. And yeah, themes. Download. G edit. No, it's not that one. Let's see. Ah, here it is, of course. The arc theme. Alright, as you can see, the commands are pretty big. I just copy it. And you open the terminal. Terminal over there. You right click and just paste it in and press enter and of course as soon as you're going to install anything stuff like that you need to type your password which can be can be quite annoying and then you do the why are you disappearing This freaking virtual machine. And paste. Like that. And then you're going to have the last one here. Paste it in. And it asks if, if you want to continue. Press Y and enter. And Y again, enter. It's going to take a little while here. There and as soon as this green bar at the bottom shows up, it's done. So I can close this. And you go to your Unity Tweak tool. Go to Themes down here. And then you select 
I select actually the arc, dark. I like the dark themes. Now everything lo looks a bit different. Same thing if you go to the files, explorer. Everything is kind of dark. So yeah. So that's how you kind of customize everything. So you can do a lot of different customizations, you know, download different themes, different curses and whatnot. So yeah, that was a video about that. So see you later.